Brennan's goal is to ensure your dredging project succeeds. It's important that we understand the overall objectives and desired outcomes of your dredged material. Are we dewatering dredged material for general fill, or are we trying to create a specific gradation? Do you need the material stockpiled, or does it need to be fed to your processing plant? Is the material contaminated, or does the water require treatment while material is shipped to a landfill? What types of material testing might we need to conduct? All of these questions help us understand your goals. From there, we can begin the data collection process. We'll need to understand the space your project has available for dewatering and the dewatering method and equipment that is right for your project. To determine how much material to remove for your project, we'll conduct a bathymetric survey. We'll gain insight into pre-dredge conditions of the water body and the volume of material we'll need to remove to achieve your project's goals. From the survey results, we'll determine how much material we need to remove and the space your project needs for the dewatering process. We'll also evaluate various material samples to understand the type of material we're dredging. A sieve analysis will be performed to assess the particle size. These sample results determine the type of equipment needed to separate water from the dredged material. All of this data points us to the correct dewatering method for your project. If our sampling determined the dredged material is relatively a coarse sand, we'll likely choose a sand wheel to aid in the dewatering process for your project. Material will make its way to a shaker table that will remove larger materials such as gravel, and the sand wheel will aid in the rest of the dewatering process. For finer materials, material will once again run through a shaker table. We'll then deploy hydrocyclones that are designed to separate finer materials and transfers it to high-speed gravity shaker screens to remove the remaining water. When it comes to silt or contaminated material, geotextile tubes may be selected. The tubes sit on a dewatering pad and water is contained in the dewatering basin. Material can be easily amended and water can be treated if necessary. For projects that require water treatment, We'll coordinate the setup of a water treatment plant in a space that is most convenient. If space isn't an issue for your project, our team can build and manage a confined disposal facility for your dredged material, where dredged material settles and remains at this location. Depending on the material type and the overall goals of your project, a combination of these dewatering processes might be utilized to design the perfect solution for your project. By committing to detailed planning, stringent data collection, and quality work, we'll ensure your project with Brennan is a success. For details and additional information on our company, please visit jfbrennan.com.